After what happened in Istanbul and after what happened last week against Arsenal, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer needed his Manchester United players to deliver a performance against an Everton team who largely been very good this season, but come into this game with two losses, they leave this game with three losses. United 3-1 winners at Goodison Park. Bruno Fernandes leading by example, not just with a goal, not just with two goals, but an assist as well, I think, at the end there for Edinson Cavani. United 3-1 winners. And when, look, this, this was a game where we went into it after the Istanbul match, after the Arsenal game, questions were being asked about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as United's manager. Is he good enough? Will he be sacked? X, Y, Z. It's the same sort of questions that were asked back in January before we signed Bruno Fernandes. And at that point, United surged and United turned up and United put in a performance. And today we did exactly that against Everton. But for me, it's all about Bruno Fernandes, man. He is our leader. He is our captain without the armband. You know, we've, we've all said for so long, this, this team, this United squad does not have any leaders in. He is a leader. Both goals. That fact, look, Luke Shaw, it's incredible what happens when you've got a bit of competition for places. Luke Shaw with two crosses and two goals from them in the space of a week. I think he's like doubled his... United assists total in a week. And it's no coincidence that's happened since Alex Tellez has come in and showed Shaw that he needs to up his levels. And he did today. Fred, I think, was brilliant in midfield. I think McTominay and Fred, you can understand why Solskjaer... That 11 that Solskjaer put out there was the 11 that he trusted. Clearly doesn't trust Pogba to deliver every single game. Van der Beek feel really, really sorry for him. But Solskjaer, because the pressure was on, he put the players out there that he thought could deliver. And as soon as that goal went in from Bernard, I thought, ah, oh, shit. Heads dropped. Such a crap goal to concede. Again, more amateur defending. Pickford with a long ball. Calvert-Lewin with a knock-on. Lindelof not even jumping. Bernard, wan gets nutmegged, unlucky, into the corner. You think, it's going to happen again. But United's response to that and United's response, as an overall performance, very, very good. The goal, the first goal, was the best goal. Brilliant, brilliant goal. Shaw's cross, Bruno's header. And then the second one, Bruno's cross, which Rashford didn't get a flick on. Beautiful. But I'm going to repeat it again. It's all about Bruno Fernandes. I said it before the game that, you know, I didn't want to see us relying on individual brilliance to save us today. And I don't really think it was individual brilliance. It was an individual performance that was levels, levels above the players around him. Bruno Fernandes really is a world-class player. And he's not just about penalties. He scores plenty of goals that aren't penalties. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer needed that today because we've got an international break now. And if it was two weeks of conversation after three defeats, it would have got intense. It would have got very, very intense. So, Fernandez has really eased the pressure on Solskjaer there. I th it wasn't a surprise to switch, see us switch away from the diamond. I think we'll probably stick to that 4-2-3-1 because it's what Solskjaer trusts. But let's be honest, is it really going to be the thing that helps us challenge City and Liverpool? It's not. Because you're, it forces us to play Fred and McTominay together and leave Pogba and Van der Beek on the bench. And they're two players who you really have to get in your starting eleven. That, I think, is what Solskjaer has struggled with this season. It's a, it's a very midfield-heavy squad. So playing 4-2-3-1 doesn't really get the most out of Popper or Van der Beek, but it gives the solidity because the centre-back pairing, let's be honest, have been gash all season, so they need more support. And that is why Fred and McTominay works for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and it's why it works for United. It was good to see United put in a performance like that, but as I said, we've seen this before. I, didn't ex I expected United to win today. I genuinely did because it seems when Solskjaer is backed up against the wall, United respond. We're very good at stopping ourselves from drowning, but we're not very good at kicking on from it. So I expect United now, let's see what happens after the international break. Maybe that comes at a good time for United, let's be honest. 
and we can go into November, December and that crazy fixture period that's coming up with some real momentum. But it was at that point last year where Solskjaer, where the wheels started to fall off. Will it happen again this year? I don't know. But with Bruno Fernandes in the team, anything is possible for United. It really is. He's that good a player. He makes that much of a difference to this United team. Take him out of that team there today, we lose. No questions. He is a, he is a man that every other United player needs to look at Fernandes and think, I want to fucking do what he's doing. I want to be that guy. And if that happens, then we're going to see a huge attitude shift in this squad. But for United today, we needed to put in the performance that shows that the players are there for the manager. And we didn't down tools. It wasn't anything like that. All the sort of conversations we might have had under Mourinho or Van Gaal or Moyes. It wasn't that at all. The players came out fighting and we fought for that. It wasn't an easy win. It was a gritty win. But we got the third goal at the end there. Cavani getting his first United goal. Happy for him. I want to see more. No United fan is going to be happy with just beating Everton at Goodison Park. We have to see more. And for Solskjaer now, it's all about piecing it all together. Because we're capable of individual brilliant games like PSG or Leipzig. We're also capable of horrendous games like Arsenal and Istanbul. And it is about finding that level of consistency in the performances. You can lose games, you can win games. That's football, but it's the, but it's the consistency in the performance. To go from that level there to there, within the space of a week, we just can't do. You can't afford that. It goes to show that... The, Something is wrong behind the scenes. Today we needed a result for Solskjaer and we got it for him. Bruno Fernandes, the man of the match, easily. Who was your man of the match? I thought Fred played very well as well. Probably the two standout players for me. But in a game where Solskjaer needed his players to step up, we stepped up. 3-1 win against Everton. Who was your man of the match? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you are new. But I'll see you after the international break as far as match reactions go.